What's good YouTube? This is Kevin Cruz back with another NBA 2K22 video as we are a couple months out from NBA 2K23. We're going to continue to build on the skills that I think you'll absolutely need to carry moving forward as you get better in NBA 2K. And we're going to continue the dribble series with a James Harden dribble tutorial and see how we can get our James Harden to that next level. So James Harden is not going to be one of these guys where you, you combo together these quick hitting um, really fast and aggressive dribble moves kind of like Kyrie Irving so you have to rely on your change of pace especially since you know James Harden's not as quick as he used to be blowing by really great defenders is kind of a challenge so we're going to use a couple of key moves to change pace set up your space and then attack defenders based on their reactions because of James Harden's unique shot creation ability from the three-point line and heading to the basket so what I think makes up for James Harden's lack of speed, as you'll see later on in this video, are some very powerful dribble sigs, which I think are some of the most powerful and best in creating space in the game. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already, I'd appreciate a sub, a thumbs up, it also helps, especially if you like this video. Comment and let me know what you think of the video in the comment section below. And let's get started by taking a look at how we get to cook with James Harden. So as I mentioned earlier, James Harden has some of the best dribble sigs in the game and I think the tween escape dribble cross and the behind the back escape dribble are some of the most powerful in the game. You do this by holding R2 and tapping the right stick left or right for the tween and down left and down right for that behind the back dribble. And these escape dribbles are what we're going to use to finish off our first target combo which is done by initiating a tween dribble and then launching out of it directly without turbo and then combining that with our escape dribble crossover as you can see here that's a quick one two dribble cross and then a escape dribble tween which gives you a lot of space you can also mix that up by using the behind the back escape dribble and this combo is very powerful because of the tween launch it's a very simple combination which is very effective and then once you add that escape dribble tween it creates a lot of um, separation and change of pace and ability for you to blow past your defender or rise up for a three-point shot if you have the space. The second James Harden combo is done by tapping up on the right stick while holding R2. This gives you that dribble dribble signature combo which launches into a hezzy into a step back and as you can see here, I use that space to launch into a three-point jump shot which I get fouled because Luca has to react. Now the really cool thing is you can also recreate this combo manually and this is done by tapping the right stick to the left or to the right with your non-ball hand repeatedly to do that tween dribble dribble combo. You can start by tapping the right stick to the left twice or to the right twice towards your non-ball hand to initiate this three dribble combo and then tap the right stick left to right repeatedly to do the between the legs dribble in consecutive fashion. Now you can launch into a crossover or you can combine this with a step back jump shot really depends on how your defender is playing you. And this really is a signature James Harden combination. That signature dribble move blends well with a crossover launch and then when you combine that with James Harden's signature step back jumper, which is done by holding R2 and then down on the right stick, it gives you a lot of space. Now, it's also a very difficult shot to initiate because of the small green window. So what you want to do is, you know, manually initiate a step back dribble with the signature James Harden step back and then combo that into a jump shot. Another one of James Harden's most powerful moves is his moving step back, which is done by tapping down on the right stick as you are moving forward. This gives you a lot of space and if you're able to use it out of your triple threat launches and in short spaces, you'll be very effective in really creating a lot of space into your jump shot. And of course, it's also a very powerful weapon in transition. Now, although James Harden's dribble style isn't necessarily like Kyrie Irving, you can still cook your defenders by doing consecutive combos. I start with the target combo and just build off of there. You can also add some sauce and bigger moves by combining different advanced moves like hop hezzies, different hesitations, crossovers, tween launches, spin moves, what, what have you, you can use it and it creates a lot of space. As you can see here, these big moves generate a lot of reaction from Ben Simmons. See as how I combine these different moves to shift Ben Simmons around, basically using the threat of that step back jumper or the threat of the drive to catch Ben Simmons off balance and really attack him when he's most vulnerable. So there you have it, what I think are essentially the basic moves that you'll need with James Harden in order to recreate his game. It's not a lot, but if you combine these together and flow from one move to another, you'll be very effective in creating your own James Harden signature style. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.